Welcome to part two of our video series, How to Create a Google Lit Trip. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert a picture into your description box. And also, I will show you how you can record this tour so that you can share your Google Lit Trip with your students on any computer that has Google Earth installed on it. Okay, so to get started, I want to show you that when you click on one of your place marks, you will see the discussion board that we have already created. Um, notice that we do not have a picture in this description box and I'm going to show you how you can add a picture. So I'm going to close this right now and if I go back to my place mark and right click, scroll down to properties, then I get an edit mode and I can change whatever I've already put into my description box. I could change the name, any of the text in here. I want to go to the internet and grab a picture, so I'm going to um, actually open Firefox, and when I get to the internet here, I'm going to open um, Google and do a Google image search. Okay, so I'm going to look for a picture of the book that I've been using to inspire my Google Lit Trip. It's Johnny Appleseed, the author's last name is Leaky and I have a lot of images to choose from. Just hover over the image that you want and you're not going to copy and paste the actual image. You're, you, what you need is the, um, the image location. So we're going to right click and scroll down to copy image location. Click on that and then go back to Google Earth. We are going to put that picture address right, I want it to be in the top of my description box. Paste it in there and you will see the uh, location address. Now I need to just do a little bit of HTML code here. I know this sounds intimidating but it's really quite easy. It is open caret img and then enter so that you come down to the next line src equals and then a quotation mark. Now we're going to want to come to the very end of that location address and end it with another quotation mark and then the close caret. Okay, so um, that's I, uh, open caret img, come down to the next line, src equals quotation mark and then follow it with a quotation mark and a close caret. And just say okay. Now when I click on that place mark to see the discussion uh, box, you'll notice that the picture is there, but look what's happened to our text. It's messed up everything else. Well, that's okay. It's really easy to fix. Let's close this and get back into edit mode by right-clicking, choosing properties, and what I need to do is follow that image with just one more bit of HTML code. Um, it is going to be open caret BR and that stands for break close caret and I'm going to do that one more time because I want to have a good space between my image and my text and I'm going to copy and paste that break I'm going to put another break after my description here and another break after my vocabulary words okay so I put a break here after the picture, one after the discussion, um, or I'm sorry, the description, and then one after the vocabulary words. Now I'm going to press OK, and let's take a look at that place mark. There, see? It looks great. I have my picture, everything is um, spaced properly. I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to close that, and just take a quick look. I've already um, have inserted a picture into each of my uh, description boxes. So looking at the last one that I've created here, you can see that I've already done this for all of the place marks that I've created for this lit trip. Okay, so now what we're ready to do is actually we, we're going to record this tour and when I come over to um, my places box over here, I'm going to click on the folder Johnny Appleseed Lit Trip and you'll see this icon down here at the bottom of the box and this is the play tour um, icon. I'm going to click on that and then what happens is this uh, recording 
menu comes up here at the bottom of my screen and I don't have to do anything. I can just watch my tour and it's doing it automatically. Up pops my description box. Um, it's going to stay here for a few seconds before we fly off to our second location. And here we are, Johnny Appleseed's favorite place. The discussion box will open. My students will have a chance to look at this picture, read the description, look at the vocabulary words. We can talk about the discussion questions. And then off we go to our next location and so on and so forth. Um, now sometimes when you play your tour, those discussion boxes don't pop open. And I'm going to show you in just a second what to do if these discussion boxes uh, don't pop open. So um, what I'm going to do is let's say that that was a problem and it did not open. We're going to go up to Tools, click on Options, and we have all these editing preference tools. We would go to Touring, the tab that says Touring, and the wait feature at each place mark is adjustable. Right now we set it for 10 seconds at each uh, of the place marks that we have, but we could increase that and go all the way up to 60 seconds, or we could just um, barely stop at each of those places. I think 10 seconds was good for the purposes of what we're doing today, so I'll keep it right here. And um, also, show balloon when waiting at features. That's the discussion or description box that I was talking about. If you do not see that opening, then you need to come right here and make sure that you have this, this checked. Now, there are so many different advanced editing features. I really encourage you to get on here and check them all out. But for now, we have enough to make a really good quality trip. And I'm happy with my settings. 10 seconds at each place. We are going to see the description boxes. I'm going to say OK. Now the last thing that I need to do is to save this tour and to do that I come down to this um, recording menu down here. I'm just going to click on the disk to save it. I'm going to title this tour um, Johnny Appleseed Lit Trip. And I don't need a dis uh, description right now, so I'm fine with that. I'm going to say OK. And what you will notice is um, it appears right here with the little movie camera uh, logo next to it. This is our actual tour. Now, I want to save this tour so that I can take it with me on a flash drive. I could install this onto the desktop of any computer in my classroom, multiple computers, and create a center for my students or I could um, even just save it to, to the desktop of my computer and then uh, play it on an overhead projector for my whole class to, to uh, go on this trip together. But to save it, I just need to right click and we're going to save place as and this will enable me to save this tour as a KMZ file and I wanna save it to my desktop. So I choose my desktop and click save. Okay, I've already done this once before, so um, I, I'll just go ahead and replace the first time. But yes, it's there. It's sitting on my desktop waiting for me to, to view it. Now, um, if I wanted to play that from my desktop, I just need to um, find it. It's right here. I would open it, and here we go. We're going on our Johnny Appleseed Lit Trip. And what fun you and your students are going to have when you integrate technology, geography, and social studies together. So uh, thank you for joining me on this Johnny Appleseed Lit Trip. I hope you have a lot of fun making these videos uh, and uh, lit trips with your students. I'll see you again soon.